Okay, so this is going to be the explanation video for the Lukankeia, which is problem C of Code Forces round 724. So I drew a, a 2D plane right here where the x-axis represents the number of Ds and the y-axis represents the number of Ks. So you might see where I'm trying to go with this. So if we assume that our input, it looks something like this, D, D, K, D, K, D. And let's assume that we just want to solve a prefix for like the entire string. So you just want to find how the maximum number of blocks you can split this into, such that each block has the same ratio of D to Ks. In this case, the answer is two, because we can split it like this. And we go D, D, K, and then we can also go D, K, D. And that's obviously two blocks. So this cry does represent this string as a as like some set of points on this plane. So the prefix of length zero is obviously located at the origin because it's zero zero. The prefix of length one is just a D. So there's a one D and zero Ks. So we put the point over here. And the next point is two Ds and zero Ks. So next point goes over here. The third character is K. So we go up because the K is a Y axis. So this is our next point. And then we go D. We go one to the right. Here's a K, we go one up. And then there's a D, where we go one to the, uh, to the right. And so if we connect all these points together, our line will look something like this. So why is it helpful to think of this problem as like this graphical representation? Well, the reason being is this. If we want to solve for like this prefix of a whole string, let's imagine taking this point and drawing it to the origin. So this line from this point to the origin would look something like this. And so notice that the number of points that um, this intersects, that this line intersects with, excluding the origin, is this point over here, which is a point that we started this line from, as well as the middle point over here. And this middle point over here actually represents where we can make a split in this, where we can like split our current, our current prefix into like some set of strings or like some set of blocks. So what this means is that we only care about the, um, we really only care about the, the reduced form of the ratio of every prefix of a string. So what I mean by that is if we were to have something like, if we, for example, had a block of like DDKK, then this, then this like chunk over here would have a ratio of two to two. But we can, but we can think of this as just having a ratio of like one to one. And the reason why is that if we were to query like this whole chunk over here, if we were to have like any previous like prefixes that had a ratio, of like the same ratio of one to one, then this two to two, we can treat it as essentially a block of one to one over here. And we can just append it to any existing prefix of like the same ratio. And so this is like kind of like a DP way of thinking about it. I mean, it's not really DP, but you're just kind of like, you're defining some block that you're currently on this prefix, and then you check the answer for like this previously existing prefix. Because we know that if we were to consider the entire prefix as its own block, and then we were to split it into like its own like smaller blocks, the ratio, the frequency of like D, Ds to the ratio, frequency of ratios of K, or no, ratio of frequency to K, doesn't really change. So that's like one um, thing that we can maintain. So our final implementation will use something like a hash map or a tree map. Like it doesn't really matter, but the way that we do this is that for every prefix um, of length i, where we go from um, one to n, where n is the length of a string. So this is just from one to n. We want to first like figure out what is this reduced ratio. So the way that we def we define this reduced ratio is that if we were to have the number of the the number of D characters in this prefix as D, 
n number of char k characters in this prefix as k, then we want to ask ourselves, is d or k equal to zero? If d is equal to zero, then our reduced pair is um, zero and one. And if k is equal to zero, then our reduced pair is one and zero. And so those are two like essentially special cases that we care about. And so if um, neither d or k is equal to zero, then we know that they both have to be, then we, then we know that they have to be positive. So then we take the GCD of d and k, and we set it to, and if we say this is equal to g, then our reduced pair will be d over g and k over g. And so then we can just throw this into a map structure or like a multi-set, and then we want to retrieve how many occurrences of this pair have we come across so far. And so if the number of occurrences that we come across so far, including this prefix itself, is equal to k, then the answer for this um, prefix itself, well, I mean, I shouldn't say k, I should probably say like x or something. So if x is the number of times that this special pair appears out of all of these prefixes that we checked, including this current prefix of length i, then the answer is simply just the number of times it appears in this map, which is just x. So that's pretty much how you solve this problem. Um, the final complexity will either be O of n or O of n log n, depending on what kind of map or multiset that you use. Because in C++, you could, the standard map, I believe, is log n insertion and query time, whereas if you were to use an unordered map or a hash map, it would be O of n. But either way, um, both of these um, ways should run in time relatively comfortably, relatively easily. Is, it, is, that, is that how you say it? I don't know. It doesn't matter though. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, then please leave them down in the comments. And if you're watching this, then like, comment, and subscribe in Twitch Prime, although this isn't Twitch. <laughs> oh, and if you have a Twitter, then follow us on Twitter. That doesn't exist either.